All right, so you got a cream perm or you're thinking about getting a cream perm and you have a couple of questions like how do I make sure it lasts a really long time and like how do I style my hair? When am I gonna need a haircut? When am I gonna need a reperm? I'm gonna be answering all these questions in this video. So I guess let's go ahead and get right into it. Right after you get the perm, as I said many times before, you are not gonna wanna touch it or do anything to your hair. And this means no washing your hair, no scratching your head, no washing it with shampoo, no wearing hats, no putting headphones, no touching your hair at all whatsoever. Big emphasis on no water in your hair. And you're gonna wanna wait three days to do anything to your hair because from your perming treatment those chemicals are still in your head and so you're gonna want to let them like do its work and set in in your hair if you don't do this you run the risk of not having your perm like maintain its curliness or volume or like just shape that you want it to be like this might be overkill and your hair is gonna be super crusty but it's gonna be worth your while because it ends up lasting a super long time I would only say to touch your hair put water in your hair if you do not like your perm this will take it back to its like natural like whatever so if you don't like your perm you're gonna want to put water and wash it out as soon as possible so there's a lot of like varying opinions about this like some people say you can wait two days other stylists say you can wait like three days on the internet it says you can wash your hair with water some other place on the internet says you can wash it with soap and water some places on the internet said you can like put headphones on or don't touch your hair at all so i just play it safe to maximize the amount of money you spent on the perm because might as well just make sure you know that your hair is going to look super crusty so i always tell people to get their perm on friday because if you perm it on friday you can wash it like monday morning ish and everything should still be good in terms of not touching your hair you can sleep on it a lot of people have been like asking me like oh what happens when my my permed hair touches the pillow and stuff like that you can sleep on it and it will end up being okay like there's no way around like not sleeping for your perm and by doing all the other stuff we're setting our hair up like pretty good to last a really long time so that just like sleeping is not going to do much so what should you do while you're waiting for your perm to set in well what you should do is you should get high quality products and i'm going to be telling you all the high quality products that i use and the products i use to make sure that my perm lasts a really long time and the stuff i use to style it so in order priority you're going to need a curl shampoo and a curl conditioner. These ones are from Bumble and Bumble. I've also used the ones from Target, like the Tresemme brand, um, just another generic like curl shampoo and conditioner, and they work pretty well. I would say that these are a little bit more expensive. The ones I get from Target that I was like just generic is around like 10, 20 ish dollars. These are low key like 50, 60 ish in total, which is like pretty expensive. But I will say I've noticed like my hair be super healthy and it lasts a really long time. I got this because a lot of stylists online were saying like Bumble and Bumble is really good for like curl stuff. So I tend to always use it. and. And it's low-key worth investing in because if you spent a lot of money on your perm you low-key damage your hair so you might as well spend money on products that make sure your perm lasts a super long time and that your hair is super healthy because you don't want to be like balding in the future or like have hair loss or have like a lot of dandruff and stuff like that and if you do have dandruff because of your perm i'm going to be explaining later on what to do about it so i was kind of wondering can i use my shampoo and conditioner that i used when i had straight hair and the answer to that is no so if you use your straight hair shampoo and conditioner your hair is still going to be like super dry it has different ingredients to ensure that your hair is still like super healthy and that you regain like the bounciness and like the lightness like in your curls normal shampoo and conditioner is not going to cut it you at least need to get that target brand so bumble and bumble curl shampoo and conditioner probably like top tier so after you use the shampoo and conditioner while your hair is still damp i use the bb 10 in 1 curl cream and this basically is just an added layer of protection it is for all like hair types and it makes sure that your hair is like super healthy so i basically just work it into my scalp while my hair is damp out of the shower i use this because it doesn't have any coconut oil and for all of you guys who have like straight hair strands just like mine coconut oil is not good for the hair follicles because i think it gets trapped in like the proteins are too big it's basically just not good for your straight hair strands that's what the stylist told me it's okay if the shampoos and conditioners have coconut oil because you're gonna wash it off in the shower this one you use after the shower to ensure your hair is like super healthy and this one doesn't have any coconut oil in it so this one's good for you um just make sure to wash off the shampoo and conditioner that you put in in the shower next you're gonna need a styling cream and i don't have it with me but i'm gonna put it on the screen it's basically the miss jesse soft curls curling cream and after i put the the curl cream in my hair I use this cream and start working it in for my scalp to basically style my hair in the way I want it so while my hair is damp and after I put the curl cream in my hair I'm gonna put in the styling cream and with the styling cream I manipulate my hair in the way I want it to look like once it dries the Miss Jessie styling cream makes sure it looks like super natural so it's not gonna look like super like chunky or blocky or like have like a gloss over it that's the reason why I really like this one all right so let's pretend it's been three days since you got a perm and now it's time to shower so once you walk into the shower you're not gonna want to let the shower head and the stream of water like directly hit your head because that breaks up the strands in your hair and even though it's been three days i still minimize the amount of manipulation that happens to your hair because i want to keep the perm in the best condition as possible so to avoid this from happening i usually cup the water in my hands and then pour it on my head or i use a bucket of water and i let it fill up and then i dump it on my head if i don't do that i make sure to block the shower stream 
with my hands and then allow the water to fall kind of more naturally. Also, you're gonna wanna make sure to shower the water on cold because hot water tends to break up the strands in your hair. After your hair is wet, you can use your shampoo and I just use a dollop of shampoo, um, mix it up in my hands and then gently like incorporate it into my hair. After that, you obviously wash out the shampoo, put in the conditioner and let the conditioner sit in your hair the entirety of the shower while you're washing your body and stuff and just do the same thing, like incorporate it gently into your hair. But let's say you wash out the conditioner and you're out of the shower. Now you're gonna wanna towel dry your hair and you wanna pat it down, but you only wanna do this to about like 30%. This will make your hair like super wet, but it's recommended to do it this way so your hair dries naturally. And this will make sure your hair is super healthy and that the curls can form and like really bunch up. After you dried it about 30%, I would start incorporating the curl cream into your hair and I would just get a dollop size amount rub it in your hands. I work it starting in at the scalp, starting in at the roots, and then like work my way out. After that, I use the Curl Styling Cream, which is the Miss Jessie Soft Curls. And I would again start incorporating it in at the roots and then start working my way out. And then I would like move my hair into like the way I exactly wanted it to be. But yeah, at this point, your hair should be still super damp. So hopefully you don't have a function to go to right after. That's why I never shower like right before a function. I make sure to get ready a couple hours before. And you're just gonna wanna make sure that your hair dries naturally. If you wanna expedite the process, you could use a diffuser and attach it to your hair dryer and then dry your hair on cold. I don't have a diffuser and I usually don't do that so I can't really speak to that but recommended way is just to let your hair air dry. And another tip for you guys, if you want your perm to be super poofy and voluminous, I recommend to shower at night. This way while your hair is damp, after you put in the curl cream, after you put the curl styling cream in, you're gonna wanna rest your head on your pillow. It's gonna dry like super poofy and when you wake up in the morning, it's almost gonna be like you have bed head on steroids. If you don't like the look of that, you can always put water on it to like lessen it down. I really only do this when my perm is starting to go away and the straight hair strands are starting to come in i just put water on my head and if i really don't like it i just like completely like drench my hair in water and then just restyle it in the morning so let's say you have your perm and you're randomly starting to get dandruff like what do you do so this happened to me and i just go to my local store and i get this thing called scalp remover and there's nothing too fancy about it i don't use a specific product or anything but i just follow the directions on the bottle it's basically like a shampoo and you want to use it first then put the curl shampoo and then curl conditioner in if you follow the instructions your hair should be good and everything should be back to normal now let's say it's been like a month or so since you got your perm and your straight hair strands are starting to grow back in everything is like not as voluminous and you're starting to look like a house what do you do so i actually use two products and i'll tell you which ones they are and this first product that i use is recommended by a lot of stylists like in like the modeling like space and stuff like that they use it on basically our hair it's called spike glue really recommend this and it's just this really strong um like gel like cream and i incorporate this in at the roots because that's the stuff that's like straight and like non-voluminous and doesn't match the perm and it'll add some more structure and allow your hair to still be poofy even though the straight hair strands are growing back in i use this to get the look I wanted. It's kind of like gel or like pomade. You could think of it like that. And once you get the desired look with this, I come in and then use this hairspray. Um, so yeah, this one's called the Tresemme like micro mist. Highly recommend. Even with straight hair, I would use this product because my hair is super weak. I had like pomade in my hair. By the end of the day, like me running, sweating, or just the wind would just blow it back and I'd have like a bowl cut. By using this and spraying this in after I use a pomade, it locked in my hair to the way I want it to be. So by the end of the day, it still looks pretty good. I currently use both of these products right now because I'm at the point where it's been like a month or two since I got my last perm and my straight hair strands are starting to grow back in. I got a little cut as you guys can see. That's not going to completely do it for you because this is still curly. The roots are still a little bit straight. A lot of investment but I definitely say all these products are really worth it and it allows you to maximize the amount of time before you get your next perm and minimize the amount of damage that you could get from reperming already permed hair. All right so this is Loki one of the most important tips and a problem that I kind of had for a really long time and that's about getting the haircut while you're in the middle phase. Say your hair is like super straight like I told you before and your hair is just like weighing you down and it's like super long and really grown out. Where do you get your haircut? How do you get your haircut? What do you ask for? I've been to a lot of barbers and most of the time the barbers that I've personally been to don't know how to cut permed hair. So my hair would end up like looking super weird. Like they would leave the length on top and then my hair would be super flat. Or some people would just like blow dry and really comb through my hair and that really takes away all the curls from the perm. So yeah, you're gonna wanna make sure you go to someone that knows what they're doing and knows how to treat permed hair. I highly recommend you guys to go to the salon. That's where I usually get my hair cut in between perms. They were the ones who gave you your perm so they deal with the people who come back in in that middle phase where they need a haircut but they can't get a perm yet. They should know how to do the job. If your barber knows how to treat permed hair or you just really like your barber, I recommend you just talking about it and say like, oh, my straight hairs are coming in. I might need a little bit of texture. This is how my hair should look. And just tell them you're really not supposed to comb or blow dry like permed hair. As long as they know what they're doing and they've treated permed hair before, just go with that. And if you want to grow your hair out, I'd say like get a taper. The easiest way to do everything is just go get your haircut at the place you got your hair permed at. So when are you going to know if you need a reperm? I would 
would kind of wait till your hair is just like super grown out and most of your permed hair is cut. If I were to put a timetable on this, I'd say wait about like three months. This will ensure that you got in like multiple cuts in between your perms and that most of your permed hair is cut off while still looking like you have a perm because you don't want to wait till your hair is super straight again and then get a reperm and then it's like curly. And you don't want to be looking like two different people with like one with straight hair, one with curly hair. So by waiting three months, it maximizes the amount of time that your permed hair is being cut, but it also still kind of looks like you have a perm using the products that I told you about before. So three, four-ish, maybe even sometimes two months, depending how bad the perm is, is when I would get a reperm. Take everything I said with a grain of salt. Obviously, these are my experiences. So do your own research as well. Talk to your stylist about like what's good and what's not good. And just look at multiple different sources talking about like permed hair. I made a super in-depth video. If you guys like have any more questions that you think I didn't cover, let me know if you guys have any more questions or want any more like desk videos like this. I tend to do a lot of research as you can see on like just stuff that I use every day. But guys, please make sure to subscribe because only 85% of you guys are subscribed and I want to continue to make more like super high quality content and um, content that you guys like. I wish you guys luck with your permed hair and I will catch you guys in the next video.